Alrighty, welcome class to Zoology 101. I'm your teacher, Professor Dreesus, and in today's lesson, we'll be talking about two of the most dangerous animals on Earth. A couple of ideas have probably popped into your mind. Lions, tigers, fraggles, oh my, but no, you're wrong. It's actually bears and birds. Now, you're probably saying, bears I get, but birds, are you sure your meds are working, Professor Dreesus? And to that I say, class, class, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Don't question my lessons again. Anyway, let's start off with bears. Now, class, I think most people respect the fact that bears would absolutely pulverize them, but there are some people out there that seem to think that they could take one on, and quite frankly, I can only see three ways that an encounter with a bear would go for a person, and all of them end with the human being looking like a sloppy Joe hastily constructed by a drunk trophy wife at a Super Bowl party. Scenario number one is hand-to-hand -hand combat, and be honest with me, class, do any of you actually think that's a good idea? Look at that bear. That is a fully grown man that just filed his tax returns. Now look at yourself. You just spent $30 on a figurine in a mason jar, quote-unquote, as a joke, and asked your cousin to the prom. If that bear had osteoporosis, asthma, a cleft foot, two glass eyes, and a hearing aid, maybe you'd stand a fighting chance. But I don't think that's the majority of the bear population. Scenario number two is ranged combat, which isn't going to do you any better, because bears can run up to 35 miles per hour, meaning that by the time your jittery baby hands take your gun out of your holster, the bear has already climbed up a tree and is ready to drop on you with enough force to make the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki look like the flash on our disposable Barbie camera. And scenario number three is a dance battle, which is honestly the worst way to handle a bear encounter I've ever heard. Like seriously. Class, who thought this was a good idea? All bears are trained from a young age to perform a special blend of the Charleston and Brazilian street boxing. What started with you doing the sprinkler is going to end with a bear knee so far into your abdomen that your skeleton's going to look like the hunchback of Notre Dame sporting a partial riding a tricycle. Alright, moving on to birds. Class, what do we know about them? Wrong. 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 Incorrect. Utterly false. Wrong. What do we know? Hellspawn. Since the dawn of humanity, birds have done nothing but shit on us, both literally and figuratively. No, seriously. Since the dawn of humanity. Accounts of birds being complete and utter scum date back to the earliest records of the human language. In fact, the first cave drawing ever discovered was interpreted as meaning out hunting. Back in an hour. The flying shit rat stole the baby. See ya. And over the years, we've tried to get back at them, making giant metal versions of them to assert our dominance and then intentionally crashing said giant metal birds into boats for the sake of warfare, but birds still continue to act like pricks. I can recount one time, me and my grandpappy were eating ice cream deep in the jungles of Cambodia, when suddenly a bird knocked the ice cream out of my hand, shit in my mouth, and tore up a Bible right in front of me to show that not even God could protect me from how utterly douchey birds are. And then 50 years later, he fucked my wife! God damn it, Laurel! Bird Birds don't even have cocks! They shoot pheromones! They literally have the any belly buttons of cocks! And you left me for him?! Uh, I'm sorry class, let's move on. I won't- I won't talk about birds anymore. Fifteen minutes later... Every country that has declared war on birds has lost. Both of them! Let's start off with the most famous bird war, the Great Emu War. Let me set it up for you. 1932, Australia's broke. They went all in on a back alley card game and now they've lost their son, they've lost their car keys, and all of their food is being eaten by a massive bird with no arms that looks like an amputee Sesame Street character. Now they don't care about the car or the kid, but they draw the line to the stupid fucking bird from up eating their crops. So in November they send out two guys with a giant gun and say, just shoot them, they're birds. So the guy shot them, but the emus just soaked up the bullets like some kind of an undercooked McDonald's ShamWow crossover and then briskly jogged away. This went on for a few days and eventually Australia surrendered, thus losing a war to fucking birds. The next time a country declared war on birds, it somehow went even worse. Let me paint you a picture. It's 1958 and you're the leader of communist China. Everything's going to shit and sparrows are eating all of your grain. What do you do? Well, you could do any number of things, but for some reason you decide that you should just kill all of the sparrows. This goes fairly well, and you kill a metric fuck ton of them. But as it turns out, the sparrows were actually eating all of the bugs that were actually eating all of your crops. And now you're facing the largest famine in human history with as many as 78 million people dead. You may have won the battle, but the birds won the war. In conclusion, class, birds are evil creatures from the deepest depths of Satan's ball sack that'll fuck your wife and destroy you in warfare. And bears are pretty dangerous, too. Dismissed.